So today I'd like you to meet my dog Radar, the newest addition to the Hunter Classic are German short haired pointers and that is what Radar is and basically what these pointers do is track and locate animals that you want to hunt. At level 1 you're able to find rabbits and birds and once you've trained to level 4 you can actually find uh, geese, foxes and coyotes. So I've trained this guy a bit, we're at level 9 and today we're going to take a look at how they work. But before we get going, I just want to show what he looks like. And there are three different colors of these guys. This is the chocolate milk, and there's also a brown and dark brown, which from the looks of it, the color is pretty much the same as the color on this guy's head. So let's take him out and do some rabbit hunting. So basically what these guys do is look at an animal within a certain radius of where they're at. Uh, and that radius, I think, probably increases as you uh, train them and as they gain levels. So right now this guy is level 9, and he's been doing pretty good for me. Uh, the last little bit of hunting I've done. So what I've been doing pretty much is mainly rabbit hunting. Uh, I find these guys to actually be the most useful for rabbits because other animals do spook a little bit uh, if you get too close to them or if the dog gets too close to them, but the rabbits actually end up spooking and then hunkering down uh, and they're able to point at them when they are hunkering down. So that actually works quite nicely. So we're going to run up here uh, a little further and then we're going to send the dog out to see if he can find a rabbit. And there are almost always rabbits just ahead of us here. So what we'll do is press the V key and go to track rabbits and birds with the mouse and click on that and basically what that will have him do is find the nearest rabbit or bird to us or at least that's the way I understand it and what I found to be best is to just kind of hang with him try to stay like just a little bit behind him so that I don't spook the animal uh, but so I can still see where he's at at all times so I know uh, exactly what's going on so if I had to guess we're probably going to get one somewhat soon uh, but you see he's sniffing the air and just kind of running around trying to find the nearest probably rabbit to us generally there's not pheasants down here so that's the only other species uh, that he would be looking for so right now he is slowing down and what I've been doing is just running when he's running and then like crouching if he slows down uh, and just trying to pretty much stay with him and of course you can press the V key so he highlights that allows you to know where he's at and there actually is an icon that'll come up in the bottom left when he actually uh, finds an animal so I'm kind of waiting for him to do that right now so you can see it uh, and he's not yet found anything so he should probably be finding one soon, like this little area is always full of rabbits and we do have some tracks right now, so that is definitely a good sign. That is a mule deer track though, but I just saw the icon on the bottom left, that means he found something. Uh, and somewhat soon he should be able to locate where it's at and actually point to it, and I'll try to get to show you uh, what that looks like, I just need to make sure I don't spook whatever it is. But I'm pretty confident that it'll be a rabbit, so we just want to stay... Uh, right here with him and you notice he slowed down Not now that he knows where the animal is or knows that there's an animal in the area he slows down and i'm just going to crouch pretty much right here with him i'm going to get a little further behind him so that i don't uh spook the rabbit i'm assuming it's a rabbit uh and then we'll try to take it out once he kind of pointed it out to us and one of the things that i noticed one of the animals that he was pointing at i think it was a rabbit he only pointed for maybe like 30 seconds uh and then he ended up kind of leaving it so i do need to take my shot somewhat fast and i did see a rabbit uh, kind of scurrying through here so we spooked it it was probably him spooking it but this is the reason that i find the rabbits to be the best animal to hunt with these guys and probably the best animal to train these guys with because the, that rabbit that just spooked is going to run over here maybe 50 meters or so and hunker down and the dog is going to be able to find it and point to it and then we're going to be able to pretty much kind of pinpoint where it is grab our shotgun and get a shot on it either if we can see it there or once it runs away and it looks like he is pointing right now you can see that icon just came up and if I can get my binoculars on him, uh, which I can't really see him through that brush, he should be pretty much just completely rigid uh, and pointing, and you can kind of see he's doing that. Uh, we'll show it better in a minute, but you can see he's being very rigid and pointing to this rabbit right here, which we will take out before it spooks. Just with our 17 HMR. And we will give this guy a treat for being a good boy and finding us a rabbit. If he wants one, come back here. There, we'll have him sit. You do have to have a successful command, and I don't know if the... Oh, that's a little awkward. Let's get him off of that. Uh, I don't know if the searching one is considered successful because it takes so long. So let's just get him to come over here. If he can get unstuck from the rocks. There we go. And we'll set him down. And now that I know that is a success, successful command, let's give him a treat. And that'll give him a little XP bonus. So we'll grab our rabbit here, and then I want to explain... Uh, the rest of what happens with these German short hair pointers. Actually not a bad rabbit, 1599 female, but anyway. So if I try to have him track uh, birds and rabbits again, 
looks like the timer is about two minutes 126 seconds it says in the bottom right your dog will be able to use this skill again in 126 seconds so what i find to be best uh i'm probably not going to do this at a higher level but while i'm trying to train him i just kind of use the lay down and sit key which gives him a little bit of experience uh let's see we are at 13 19.6 we'll have him sit up and i think it's worth either three or four uh per command 13 23.1 so like 3.5 uh, and there is a little bit of an easier way if we go into our options here. Under keyboard setup, if you scroll to the bottom, there is the key bindings for all the different commands. And dog command sit is Y, and dog command lay down is K. So I find that to be really useful rather than having to uh, just constantly like bring up the uh, command keys. I can just use the hotkeys uh, back and forth for the two minutes that I'm waiting for him to uh, cool down. And then we can find the next animal. And right now, I'll probably get to train him to level 10 uh, before that cooldown timer kind of finishes. So we're not quite to level 10, but we are back to tracking another rabbit. And he's off and running again. So as you can see, when they're running, you can kind of run and keep up with them. And then once they slow down, uh, that generally means they found something, which I thought he might have there, but he is still running. So until he finds something, I'm just going to run here with him. And then once he slows down, we'll see if we can get whatever it is. All right, looks like he's onto something. He just slowed down uh, there at the top of the hill. So there's probably another rabbit hanging up here uh, somewhere in these kind of hills. So I do want to be able to have the dog in sight so I can see where he starts pointing. Probably wouldn't be bad if I could just see where the rabbit's hiding in general, but I don't at the moment unless... No, that's not it. But yeah, I think this is really good for players that use high graphic settings like I do because for when you play on low settings, you can actually see rabbits really far away. But I struggle immensely to hunt rabbits uh, here on Logger's Point and on Settler Creeks because I just can't see them uh, at any kind of distance. Like, I can see them really far away and then I get somewhat close to shoot them with the 22 uh, with a shotgun and I can't see them hidden in the grass. So with this dog, uh, able to pretty much pinpoint where they're at but not actually spook them, I find that to be really, really useful. So somewhere up here there should be a cottontail rabbit hiding. Uh, and once this guy points them out, we're going to try to probably take it with a shotgun if we can. The other thing is, he probably hasn't even spooked yet. Uh, generally, I'm having them spook every time. Yeah, he just took off there, uh, and he will hide somewhere, and then the dog will be able to find him and pretty much pinpoint where he's at. Let's actually watch this. I can see where the rabbit stopped. It is just behind that little bit of uh, rocks and trees there. And our pointer is just slowly making his way up there. Uh, slow enough that he's not going to spook him, he's just going to kind of get there and let me know where the rabbit's at. Even though I already know where it's at, of course it's great training uh, for the dog, being that he is so young and low level. So he should be pointing just about now. You can see he just tensed up. Uh, he spotted the rabbit there, so we'll use the 17 again since it's somewhat far away. And we'll see if we can make a decent shot on that one. I love that, by the way, that the, uh, the animation is so clean, like him just walking and then suddenly stops because he actually does spot... Uh, where the animal is. I really, really think that's uh, quite cool. So another job well done by our dog. We'll grab the rabbit here and then we'll give him another treat. Uh, I just like doing that. Obviously, it doesn't give that much experience, but it's just kind of fun. It adds to the a bit of immersion of having a dog out there as a hunting partner with you. This one's a little bit smaller, though, 1434. And let's have this guy uh, sit down here. And if you know nothing about the dogs, if you look in the top right, it says OK, and then in parentheses, 150% XP gained. That is the amount of XP he gains for every command he successfully obeys. Uh, there's like a kind of multiplier to it. So there's a base uh, number for like laying down, sitting, uh, and then of course the big XP gain is when he actually finds an animal. That is multiplied by 1.5 in his current state. It can go up to times 2 when he is fully refreshed, and it goes down to I think just times 1. Uh, when he is exhausted or maybe even below that. I don't think I've ever actually exhausted any of my dogs, uh, not retrievers or scent hounds, but we're almost to level 10 with this guy. We're going to get him to that and then we'll go on to finding something else. And I think just one more should do it. And there we go. Level 10, just a new ribbon. So level 10 does not unlock uh, the ability to follow deer and coyotes. I have to look and see uh, where that's at. It's probably uh, somewhere where you can find it. All right, so I've fast traveled and we do actually have a pheasant calling. So I want to show you how that works. We're going to come over here by the pheasant uh, just so we're kind of sure that that is the closest animal because there's a lot of rabbits around here uh, and I don't want to pick up that. I want him to actually pick up the pheasant uh, to kind of show how they work because there's a little bit of a difference in generally the way that I have to approach it. And he should already know where it's at because we're somewhat close to it. 
uh, and we should just be able to kind of follow him to where he's headed. And we're going to be shotgun in hand for this, uh, although he is heading over here, so there might actually be a rabbit, which is uh, somewhat okay. Oh yeah, there's probably a rabbit right here. So in the high grass, and we're going to just move forward, and the rabbit should run, and then we'll be able to get a shot at it. I don't hear it yet, though. Oh, there it is. I actually saw it just before it spooked. And there we go. So that scenario right there is the biggest thing that I think these short hair pointers actually help with. When they're in the tall grass and you can't see them, they pretty much tell you which way to go. Uh, and as long as you're ready with your shotgun, it's pretty easy to be able to get them. Another decent rabbit as well, 1592. And for the help with that one, because the other two I got to got myself. But for the help with that one, this guy definitely deserves another treat. I, I really like giving dogs treats. It's the best. <laughs> What a good boy. I didn't realize there was actually a treat in your hand when you did that. I thought it was just a little animation. I saw the treat in my hand that time. So I've brought Radar here to Hirschfelden where there will be no Cottontail Rabbit as distraction. We are going for nothing but Pheasant because uh, I want to show how that works because there's a bit of a like a weird dynamic with them because about half the time it works out perfectly. They stay uh, trying to hide in the grass. You can get right up to where the dog's pointing, flush them, uh, and then take them out of the air with the shotgun. But the other half of the time they are flushing rather early. And if you don't have a shotgun in hand, a lot of times they're pretty much just getting away. So I just want to get a little bit uh, away from the tent here. And then we're going to send the dog out and see what he can find. And apparently we are headed right back to the tent. I don't know if there was one back there or what, but he seems to know there's one uh, somewhere in the area already. He is going slow. So basically what I recommend if you're going after pheasant is having your shotgun in hand uh, and just following. Because if the pheasant decides to flush early, you are pretty much down to either shoot it right away or not getting it at all. So we're going to be shotgun in hand for the rest of this. Hopefully it sits there. Uh, oh, actually, I see it right there. So here's the thing. Is it? Yeah, it's going to try to run away. Because it was in the trees there, it didn't fly. Uh, in that scenario, it would have been okay if he flew either way because we got close enough that a shot would have been fine. But sometimes I've actually had them flush further away than that. And I'd like to try to get a scenario where it works a little bit better because sometimes they just hunker down uh, and it works completely perfectly. That was kind of semi-perfect. Decent little male though, 22 score unfortunately shot off the ground and I don't know, I think I still have my treats so I'm just going to keep giving him one every time he successfully uh, gets us an animal. And actually I've just been sitting here waiting for the cooldown timer because it's something like 5 minutes I think uh, in between tracks and as soon as you send him off that's when the timer starts and then once you've taken your animal uh, the timer's already been going for a while but we've got some pheasants that have gone pretty close here and I think that is the ideal scenario because we're not running around and spooking them uh, by actually like trying to locate them. We already know they're here and when I give him the command they sh uh, he should know uh, that there are pheasants in the area. There's actually a male walking right up to us so I want to see just how he performs. Are we actually good? Yeah we are. So he should know they're there already and I just want to stay shotgun in hand in case they do spook but hopefully because we're crouching towards them uh, they actually hunker down and this works kind of ideally. We're already somewhat close so I think that'll actually be somewhat okay. We're just going to stay ready in case he decides to uh, flush, but my guess is that he'll be hunkering down any second. Uh, the dog knows that he's there, so we can get right up to where the dog is. I actually see the pheasant there, uh, so let's pull up the gun and flush him. Let's see if we can hit him. Oh, not like that, we can't. Missed that shot as well. Wait. What was he doing? Well, that was obviously entirely my fault for missing the initial shots, but I don't know if he, like, got into the trees or if I hit him the first time. That was weird. What happened here? We definitely didn't hit him the first time. I thought maybe he was wounded because he was flying, like, really slow down to the ground, so luckily that still worked out because that would have been pretty bad if we didn't get that uh, in that perfect scenario. And one last treat. For helping us out with the hunting today radar has been incredible uh and he is getting tired as you can see 125 percent xp gain so i think we're going to give him a rest and call it a video so uh as a kind of like recommendation are these dogs really necessary i wouldn't call them necessary but i think they might actually be the most helpful out of the three that we have right now uh there have been some changes to the dogs as well i just want to go over quickly uh the things that i can remember the dogs don't run in front of you anymore uh, they actually slow down and get behind you when you're like running uh, or walking. They won't get in your way. And with the retrievers, they'll actually bring birds into your blinds now, which is quite nice. I'll show that uh, in a future video as well. But that is going to about, about do it for this video. Uh, that has been a lot of fun. Radar has been 
Super fun hot with, and I know you'll be seeing them a lot in the future videos. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end. It is very much appreciated, and I will see you next time.